Hello, welcome to Zach Crooks TV. This video concerns the Grants Mill campus and it is for repairing the main auditorium lighting. Except for the back wall, the lighting is the same. This is a pendant that hangs all the vomitories. The, the internal workings are the same for these and for the clouds. The only difference is in the clouds there and there you'll have a screw. Remove the screw, the trim will come out, and then inside there are three retaining clips that hold in a glass diffuser. For the pendant lights, there are three retaining clips. Just simply pull down. Next, you'll want to remove the bulb. Remember, it's a halogen. Um, when you replace the bulb, you'll need gloves to keep the oils from your fingers off. When you get the bulb out, inspect the socket for damage. Next, there are two screws that hold in the trim. Just pull those out. They're pretty tough to get out sometimes because of the angle. Next, you want to remove the heat sink. I pull the screws right out. The factory heads on these screws are too big. So just pull them right out. Then just pull the heat sink out so you can get to the wires on the back side. Then just snip the wires to the socket. You'll see two screws that hold the socket in. Now this is an aluminum body and at the factory they kind of force the screws in so a lot of times they come out real tough. You have to be real careful not to strip out the heads. Okay, when you get the screws out just pull out a socket from by the wires, put a new socket in. Now in this particular light this was one where the factory stripped everything out so I had to drill new holes, re-tap in the aluminum so I could put new screws in. Just very carefully put the screws back in so you're not going to have problems the next time you need to take it out. Once you have your socket in, just wire nut your wires back together. Next, put the heat sink back into the fixture and secure with the two screws. Then you want to add your trim. There are two holes right there. On the heat sink, just line them up. Two screws secure it. Then you want to twist in your bulb. Some of the sockets come spring-loaded. 